you want to definitely look for a certain type of fit. Now when it comes to fit, the tighter the climbing shoes are, the better you're going to climb, but there is a certain amount of uh, discomfort associated with the tighter that the climbing shoes are. So it's really up to you to decide how uncomfortable you want your feet in order to climb better. There are also different types of shoes, Velcro versus lace-up versus slip-ons, and all of them have different strengths and weaknesses when it comes to different types of climbing. So try to figure out what type of climbing you're going to do and then choose your shoe appropriately. All climbing shoes are made with a very sticky rubber on the sole in order to grip the rock better. And then how the rest of the shoe is built varies a lot from model to model and from manufacturer to manufacturer. The best thing you can do is to try on many different models in different sizes to get a sense for what you want on your foot when you intend to climb. All shoes will stretch to some degree. Some will only stretch when you put them on and the heat from your foot goes into the shoe. Other shoes, after a short amount of time, will stretch as much as a full size or more. So that's something you want to keep in mind and find out about the shoe before you buy it so that you know how it's going to perform in the long run. All shoes tend to be very lightweight compared to, say, regular tennis shoes or cross-training shoes. Um, they also are very sensitive to the rock when you're climbing. You also want to be sure most people choose not to wear socks when they buy their climbing shoes because that reduces a lot of the sensitivity that they have with their feet on the wall. Try on the shoes without socks, as most people choose to, um, because that'll give you a good sense of what you're actually going to be feeling when you're on the wall.